Have you ever wondered how New Year's Eve is celebrated around the world? Well, you're in for a treat. As the old year winds down and the new one beckons, people across the globe partake in a medley of traditions, customs, and celebrations that are as diverse as they are exciting. Our first stop on this worldwide excursion is the far-flung islands of Kiribati. Nestled in the heart of the Pacific Ocean, this tiny nation is the first to welcome the new year, thanks to its prime position on the international dateline. In Kiribati, New Year's Eve is a grand affair, a heady mix of rich indigenous traditions and a dash of modern festivities. The locals, known as the I Kiribati, begin their celebrations with vibrant song and dance performances, their joyous melodies echoing across the islands. The pulsating rhythms of the Kiribati folk music, known as the Te Animate, set the tone for the night, a symphony of joy and hope for the year ahead. As the clock inches closer to midnight, a hush falls over the crowd. It's time for the traditional Tebino, a unique ritual where a selected elder makes the first footprint on the beach sand, symbolizing the start of a brand new journey. As the first rays of the New Year's sun kiss the sandy shores, the air is filled with cheers and laughter, a testament to the community's unwavering spirit and camaraderie. But the revelry doesn't end there. New Year's Day in Kiribati is a time for merriment and feasting. Families and friends gather to share hearty meals, their tables laden with local delicacies like palusami and fresh seafood, their joy echoing in their shared laughter and stories. As we leave the beautiful islands of Kiribati, let's travel to our next destination. Welcome to Japan where New Year's Eve, or Oshigatsu, holds a special place in the hearts of locals. As the old year concludes and a new one begins, Japan is aglow with age-old practices that are as beautiful as they are meaningful. One such tradition is the Joya no Kane, the bell-ringing ceremony. As the clock strikes midnight, temple bells across Japan are struck 108 times. Each ring is a symbol representing the 108 earthly desires that Buddhists believe cause human suffering. As the bells toll, it's believed that these desires are cleansed from the hearers, ringing in the new year with a clean slate. As the echoes of the bells fade, the Japanese people partake in Toshikoshi Soba, a traditional noodle dish. This dish signifies longevity and prosperity, a wish for the year ahead. The long, slender noodles are thought to represent a long, fruitful life. And then, as the first day of the new year unfolds, the Japanese people visit a temple or shrine for Hatsumode, their first temple visit of the year. This visit is an act of prayer and reflection, a chance to set intentions for the year ahead. From the serenity of Japan, we now move to the vibrant festivities in South Africa. In South Africa, New Year's Eve is a time of joy, reflection, and spectacular fireworks. The coastal city of Cape Town becomes a stage for the vibrant minstrel carnival, an event steeped in cultural significance dating back more than a hundred years. This lively parade fills the streets with music, dance, and brightly costumed performers, creating a spectacle that's truly a feast for the senses. Throughout the country, the night sky is painted with dazzling firework displays. The radiance of these lights serves as a symbol of hope and renewal, a beacon guiding everyone into the new year. Communal gatherings are also a hallmark of the celebration. Friends and families come together sharing meals and laughter, recounting memories of the year gone by and making wishes for the one to come. The South African New Year's Eve is a vibrant mix of tradition, community, and spectacle, embodying the spirit of Ubuntu, the belief in a universal bond of sharing that connects all humanity. From the warmth of South Africa, we fly to Denmark. Denmark welcomes the new year with a bang, quite literally. This Nordic country has a unique way of bidding farewell to the old year. Do you have any old plates or dishes you no longer need? Well, in Denmark, it's a tradition to hurl them at the front doors of friends and family. It's not vandalism, it's love. The bigger the pile of broken china, the more popular you are. As midnight approaches, the Danes tune in to watch their Queen's New Year's speech, a tradition that dates back to 1941. It's a moment of unity, a shared experience that brings the whole nation together. Following the speech, the Danes gather in living rooms and city squares to sing in the new year. The song of choice, Ver Velkom in Herons R, a hymn that dates back to the mid-18th century. Leaving the chilly Denmark behind, we head to the sunny shores of Mexico. In Mexico, New Year's Eve is a blend of vibrant colors, delicious food, and unique traditions. The Mexican New Year's Eve is a time of joy, reflection, and anticipation. It's a gala of unique customs that have been passed down through generations and are deeply rooted in the country's rich cultural heritage. 
It's not just about the countdown to midnight, but also about the traditions that lead up to it. One of the most popular traditions is the eating of 12 grapes at the stroke of midnight. Each grape symbolizes a wish for each month of the upcoming year. As each stroke of the clock rings out, a grape is eaten and a wish is made, creating a beautiful blend of hope and sweetness. The celebration is also a visual treat. Streets and homes are adorned with decorations in the most vibrant colors, almost as if echoing the country's lively spirit. Reds, greens, yellows, and blues light up the night, adding to the festive atmosphere. The celebration wouldn't be complete without a feast. And in Mexico, food is a central part of any celebration. Late-night feasts filled with traditional Mexican delicacies like tamales, bacalao, and ponche keep the festivities going until the early hours of the morning. New Year's Eve in Mexico is a delightful mix of tradition, joy, and anticipation for the year ahead. From the lively celebrations in Mexico, we head over to Spain. In Spain, New Year's Eve, or Noche Vieja, is a time of joy, tradition, and superstition. As the clock strikes 12, Spaniards across the country take part in a unique tradition. In the final seconds of the old year, they eat 12 grapes, one for each chime of the clock. This isn't just a fun way to ring in the new year. The 12 grapes of luck, or las doce uvas de la suerte, are believed to bring good luck for the coming year. But the new year's traditions in Spain aren't just about the grapes, there's a colorful twist that you might find surprising. Many Spaniards wear red underwear on New Year's Eve. Yes, you heard that right, red underwear. It's believed to bring love and good luck in the new year. And let's not forget about the celebrations. From Madrid's bustling Puerta del Sol to the small towns and villages across the country, the streets come alive with revelers toasting the new year with cava, Spain's famous sparkling wine. The air is filled with laughter, cheers, and the clinking of glasses, a symphony of joy that welcomes the new beginning. From the grape-filled countdown to the toast with cava, New Year's Eve in Spain is a lively and joyful celebration. From Spain, we head on over to the Philippines. In the Philippines, New Year's Eve is a vibrant and noisy affair, filled with joy and superstition. As the clock strikes 12, the air fills with the cacophonous sound of firecrackers, car horns, loud music, and even pots and pans being banged together. This isn't merely a lively way to welcome the new year, but an age-old tradition believed to drive away evil spirits. Along with the noise, Filipinos also partake in a unique food tradition. They eat 12 round fruits at midnight, one for each month of the coming year. This is believed to bring prosperity and luck in the new year. But the New Year's traditions in the Philippines don't end there. In a delightful twist, children are encouraged to jump as high as they can at the stroke of midnight. This is said to help them grow taller in the coming year. From the Philippines, we jet over to the United States of America. In America, New Year's Eve is a grand spectacle. As the clock prepares to strike midnight, all eyes turn to Times Square in New York City. Millions around the world tune in to witness the iconic ball drop, a tradition dating back to 1907. The 12-foot crystal ball descends 141 feet in 60 seconds, perfectly timed to the countdown to the new year. As the ball drops, the crowd erupts in cheers, hugs, and kisses, marking the arrival of the new year. But the celebration isn't just confined to New York City. Over in Miami, the city comes alive with fireworks and music festivals. The vibrant nightlife scene is amplified with parties that carry on till the early hours of the morning. From the bustling streets of New York to the sunny beaches of Miami, New Year's Eve in America is a celebration of hope, joy, and new beginnings. As the ball drops with the temperature in Times Square, we head to our final destination, Brazil. In Brazil, New Year's Eve, or Réveillon, is a grand beach party with a spiritual twist. As the clock ticks closer to midnight, millions gather at Rio de Janeiro's iconic Copacabana Beach. This isn't just any beach party, folks. This is a celebration on a grand scale, a spectacle that captures the vibrancy and the passion of Brazil's culture. A sea of people all dressed in white sways to the rhythm of samba, bossa nova, and other music styles that are the heartbeat of Brazilian culture. The tradition of wearing white isn't just a fashion statement. It's a symbol of peace, purity, and the hope for a new beginning. But the Réveillon celebration isn't all about the music and the dancing. There's a spiritual component that sets it apart. As the last sunset of the year paints the sky with hues of orange and pink, Many revelers make offerings to Yamanja, the sea goddess in Candomblé and Umbanda, Brazil's Afro-Brazilian religions. These offerings, or oferendas, range from flowers to small wooden boats filled with gifts. They're a way of asking for blessings in the coming year, 
a nod to the belief that the sea has the power to wash away the troubles of the past and bring in waves of good fortune. And then, as the clock strikes 12, the sky above Copacabana Beach explodes into a symphony of colors. Fireworks, folks, a dazzling display that lights up the night sky, reflecting off the waves and the sea of white-clad revelers below. The cheers, the hugs, the kisses. It's a joyous chaos that rings in the new year with a bang. And with the last fireworks over Copacabana Beach, we conclude our journey of New Year's Eve celebrations around the world. Here's to a happy and prosperous new year to all. Be sure to share how you celebrate New Year's Eve in the comments. And don't forget to follow, like, share, and hit that notification bell for more. Until next time, safe travels.